Hello and welcome to uh, this show. I don't know what it's called. I'm a small town pastor at a small church in the country, and uh, I know a lot of you are too. Small country church pastors. We do it all, don't we? we we're responsible for <laughs> usually more than one hat or one job. So anyway, I thought I'd start uh, all these lessons that I'm learning. Uh, I thought I'd start sharing them. Uh, like some of the, so maybe we can create a community of sharing. So the first one I'd like to kind of point out to you here, see if I can, how do I turn this thing around? I don't even know. i to figure out how to work my own camera first. All right, I'll just do it this way. Uh, when you have a setup like this, uh, can, can you see that? You got two, um, this is the first little project that uh, when I decided to do these videos, this is the first one that came up. So as you can see, it's running and it's not supposed to and the buttons make more water, but not less water. So until I can figure out what's wrong with it, I need to turn it off so I don't waste a bunch of water. Well, when you got two rigs like this set up next to each other, they're usually connected into one cutoff. And whichever one is running, you can guarantee it's the other one that has the cutoff. I'll show you what I'm talking about. No cutoff, which means when I cut off the water to this one that's running, I'm gonna cut off the water to this one too. And there's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> so we're just gonna be without water until I can get that one fixed. Oh well. But, so my lesson, my tip here is when you go to cut these off, then what you need to know is whichever one you open, whichever one you choose to open down here, you know, that one or that one, you know it's gonna be the other one. So go ahead and get the panel off the first one. So by process of elimination, you know what's going to be the other one. It's just the way it goes. Now, um, and that's how you know that the Lord is sovereign because it happens every time. If it was random, then every once in a while, you'd get it right. But whenever there's two, you always know it's the other one because God is sovereign and he's going to, he wants you to take them both off and check them both out. I, at least that's what I've concluded. All right, next, uh, I'm going to, We'll come back and I'll show you the other panel once I get it off. Okay? All right. Okay. So, uh, also, uh, I didn't point this out before, but there's uh, the screws on these panels that are held on like that. Can you see? Yeah, like that. They're in the top here. You see that little groove there and groove there. And for convenience sake, instead of putting them on the front, you know, so you can get to them, they put them on the bottom down there. Which means you got to lay down on the floor uh, to see, to get to them. And that way, when you unscrew this one, you've got one left hanging on here. And so when you unscrew that one, this panel is going to fall down your face right there. And uh, that's going to hurt. And it's going to get all this crud on your face. So, the lesson here is, of course, <laughs> is take the ones on the bottom off first, then get off the floor, and take these here off last. That way, it doesn't fall on your face and uh, hurt. So, that's lesson number two. Now, there was our cutoff. So, let me turn this off here. Unfortunately, that means no more running water over here either. Now, you probably want to go ahead and unplug this compressor that's cooling the water for both of these because uh, eventually the water is going to drain out of here. If you don't get it fixed really soon, you're just running the compressor for no reason at all because nobody's drinking the water. Now, luckily, on this one, it's just plugged into a wall socket. See that? 
but some of them are actually wired in and you'll have to get in there and take some wire nuts off. Of course, I can't unplug it. You can see that when I pull on the plug, the whole thing moves. So, I'm going to have to try to get this um, meaty grip back into there and probably cut myself a few times, but um, get to get it unplugged. <laughs> Wish me luck. Here we go. Well, success, and by success, I mean failure. I uh, did manage to scar up my hand, but nothing I think is going to need a tetanus shot. And uh, what I mean by failure is I did get the success. I did get the water off. Failure. None of the kiddos in the gym have water. For the foreseeable future, luckily, we do have... Uh, Fresh drinking water right there. So, <laughs> you know, we all need to learn to persevere and suffer for Christ. So, there you go. <laughs> well, I hope this little video was helpful. And uh, hope that you learned a little something here. As far as actually fixing this, that's not my expertise. I can go ahead and take these off here. And try to see what's going on in there and uh, but I doubt I'll be able to fix it but nevertheless it's not it's not like I don't have 200 other things I'm supposed to be doing so I'll go ahead and give it a shot we'll see what's in there okay give me just a sec all right well with lots of these things the key spiritual thing to keep in mind is to fear God only. Do not fear a water fountain. It's already broken, so I'm not going to break it more. Plus, I've got the power off and the water off, so hopefully I'm not going to break me more. All right, let's see what's in here. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I can't get it all the way off. I've got this up there. Get the mechanisms. I'm gonna have to pause this and get in here and then I'll show you. Okay, it looks like we've got an actuator right there, or I don't know if that's the official term, but the uh, doohickey that makes the water go, we'll call it that. And uh, whenever this bar here in front is pushed, that's the mechanism there that causes the water to come out up here. And evidently it has failed, or somebody ran into this thing and bent it in, and so it's not actually coming all the way out anymore. We'll, uh, we'll turn the water back on and see if I can make it work. Okay, so what I did was, I assumed the fallen nature of man, and come on through some. And assuming the fallen nature of man, I figured that a kid probably pushed on this too hard or ran into it while they were horse playing and bent it in, not allowing it to, not allowing this to come all the way back out. So I just took my giant grip tools that the Lord gave me and I pushed on the inside of this and sort of tried to bend it out, okay? Now, when I turn the water back on down over there, and looky, looky, we got water on and we got water offage, okay, which is what we wanted. Now, will that stay when I uh, put all this back together? So, as you can see, I'm going to have to bend that a little more, I think, so that it fully disconnects, but that's... That's how that works. Okay, so I'm going to try to bend that out that way and maybe even bend that. It's all tin in there, I don't know if you can see, but pretty easily bent. So, see if that gets her fixed. And then the kids will have water again. And then I can turn the power back on and they'll have cold water again. And hopefully, they'll have the water of life as well and everything will be. 
will be good. This is not the water of life, by the way. That's Jesus Christ. Okay. Bands practicing. Shh. <sighs> Oops. Backwards. <laughs> Hello. Uh, band started practicing, so I had to get out of there. But I did show you that I got everything working. Um, now, you always want to start one of these projects around church with prayer. Before you do anything, it may not seem like it needs prayer. Start with prayer. Uh, you know how Jesus... You know, they prayed over, Jesus prayed over the, the loaves and the fishes and he ended up picking up more than he had. Well, that often happens when you're doing one of these projects. Look at that. I made a, I had a little, found a little bit in there inside the panel. So always pray and the Lord will multiply. And uh, you'd be surprised how many times you get stuck on one of these little projects. And uh, I stop and pray for a little while because I don't and uh, and then I'm able to finish it I have no skills no formal training whatsoever at least as a handyman um, but uh, can you hear the bass drum in there <laughs> they're jamming out but I just saved my poor little church two or three hundred dollars by not calling a plumber and uh, feel like that did my job and maybe I won't get fired and uh, so I hope that y'all have a good day. It's a beautiful day out here. It's gorgeous. I wish I could work out here today. I'm going to bring my, my laptop out here. I'm going to work on my sermon. Well, anyway, I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. And uh, I don't know, I just thought, I've been watching these YouTube videos from this guy who repairs cars. And I'm like, hey, I do that kind of stuff all day. And it looks like it's fun to kind of record what you do. And uh, so I did. I don't know if you like it or not, but anyway, have a wonderful day. Jesus loves you. Bye.